This is the first time that we're seeing our property in the snow. <laughs> what? Well, you look warm. Yeah. <laughs> Last night it snowed most of the night and this is the first time the snow has managed to stick and it's still snowing. Wow. I wasn't sure if we actually were gonna get to see snow this year. And this is gorgeous. So as we have mentioned before, it's been extremely unseasonably warm here despite being in the mountains. We've seen snow far off, we've had a little bit around, but nothing that has stuck properly. And man, what a difference a single day can make. We are fully covered in snow and just now able to enjoy a brand new view. So today we are doing something that we should have done a very long time ago. So there of course is the reality that when you're building your house with your children, they can't be building all day long. They're children, that's just the reality. And some of the stuff that we have to do isn't safe for them to be a part of. So we really need a place for them to go off and play. So we're going to dedicate this terrace to their play place. I want a, a massive area where they can run around and build stuff and get creative and we don't have to worry about them tumbling off the edge. So if you missed our video last week with the newbies, first go check that out because it was hilarious. We all jumped in and did an ice bath. <laughs> but they also started helping us with a fence. But this fence will be probably three times as big. So when we were on our way down here, uh, walking down to this terrace, I had some like really nice fuzzy gloves on. I was like, oh, I need some work gloves. And Brady said, oh, don't worry. There's some gloves down there for you. Are these the gloves you're talking about? Yeah. What's wrong with them? Is that gonna be my work gloves? Yeah. <laughs> so last night I got a head start. I put in a couple of posts, tr testing out different methods of cementing in the post. When we started the fence up there, we just went with brute force and we're pounding the, uh, the fence post in with a sledgehammer. The problem is, is that would split the top of the fence post and then they won't last as long. So we've opted for drilling with an auger, a manual auger, unfortunately, and then cementing them in. But we found a couple of unique tactics. All of these, I tried different tactics and I've landed on one that should go very fast and last a long time. That's good. Jump off the terrace. <laughs> I think they're good. Kids. Yeah. Do you remember what we were supposed to do last week and then we forgot? Playground? No. Poop. Clean up Stella poop. What are you laying in? Oh, gross. <laughs> it's snow, what can I say? No, yeah. what, how can you know Alex is laying in Stella poop? Uh, Cause I know there's a big pile there. You know what they say, don't eat the brown snow. So these are all chestnut trees that we had dropped off at the property about a week ago. And then had the very painful process of individually tossing them down to this level and then restacking them until it was time to use them. These come in three meter sections. We're gonna cut them in half, point them, char them for longevity, and then we'll get two posts for every one chestnut tree. Hey, it's a work day, get up. <laughs> So I'm not sure how long we will last out here today. It is pretty cold. The girls are having a lot of fun right now in the snow, but we'll see if that continues on throughout the day. Um, right now, I just love being out here because it's like a winter wonderland. Looking at all the snow and the trees. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Mama, did yeah. you know that secretly, when you're editing, you'll see a lot of me's in it. I see a lot of you, huh? No, seriously. I stick my tongue secretly. <laughs> <laughs> I got one! Okay, one, five, two. Okay, now you can move. Ah! You hear that too? The reason we chose chestnut for our fence post is I really don't want to put in all this work and in five years see the fence start starting to rot. I want these to last for 30, 40, 50 years. And this wood, chestnut, is so dense, so hard. You can only cut about 10 fence posts and then you actually have to re-sharpen re your, uh, your chain because it just eats away at the, uh, the sharpness of the chain. So take all of the sawdust and we're gonna Alexis. put it right here in this section on this side. And all of these bits, 
because what we're doing is we're building kindling for our fire. So then we're gonna take all the fence posts and put them over top of our kindling. And then we'll come in with the flamethrower and light the fire and get it all burning. So then as we're blasting down with fire, it's also catching fire from underneath it and blasting up. It's not cold anymore. So typically I am one who doesn't really enjoy the cold. I like really mild temperatures, but when it's snowing like this and you're all bundled up and you can see the beauty of the landscape in front of you, all of the white everywhere, oh my goodness. I'm not even cold yet. I'm just soaking in all of the beauty that is here. And I cannot believe that we get to live here, that this is our property and we get to enjoy really what winter is all about. The snow, the fun of being outside, the girls playing in it, it's just magical. I'm sculpting. <laughs> this is icy and that's snowy and they're getting stuck together. Okay, basically like that. I'll make another one. So this is not the only way, obviously, to preserve fence post. The most common way, it seems, is disgusting. It's to take a used motor oil and to mix it with diesel and just paint it on. And it just, I don't know, it just didn't sit right with me, having hundreds of fence posts covered in gallons and gallons of motor oil and diesel soaking into your ground. Like... No, I don't think so. That sounds <laughs> disgusting. So the bottom layer is underneath all of the char is what protects it. But the top layer, so you have all these like cracks and stuff in it. It'll take, it'll accept moisture into that and will kind of start rotting in theory faster than it should. But if you use a wire brush or a piece of bark or whatever to kind of just scrape off the first few millimeters, in theory it's supposed to last a lot longer. Then you can actually take all of this leftovers and make paint out of it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a homeschool science lesson someday. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Frosty! Frosty! Yeah, that's our snowman's name. So most people say to get a auger, probably a powered auger, and then drill a hole two and a half, three times the diameter of the post you're putting in filling it up with cement, letting that cure. The problem is, is that I started to do some rough calculations for how much uh, cement that would be. And it was gonna cost hundreds of dollars of cement just for this run of fencing. So we're not doing that. So instead I experimented last night with some different methods. And I have this manual auger that is basically the same size as the fence post. So instead of drilling three times the width, of the fence post. I'm only doing about the width of it. And then what I do is I drop in the post and kind of cone it out so that it's kind of flattening the dirt all the way around and increasing the size of the hole, but also compacting the dirt. This is probably way too nerdy, but I spent so long experimenting with the, the best way. I'm very pleased with this one. Okay, you got it? You make it look easy. <laughs> Should we have mommy do it? Can I try? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, you're strong. Ooh, I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now can you, can you pull it out of the dirt? <laughs> I'm already like messed it up. Oh! Nice. <laughs> All right. 65 more holes to do. <laughs> I'm definitely not the most skilled at manual labor. That's one of my goals as we build this property, as we renovate things and build out the land and make it what we want it to be, that by the end of this project, or it probably will never end, so over the next few years, what I want is I want to grow in my abilities to do some of the manual labor. It's not in my skill set right now, but there's only one way to learn. This is frost. Look, Whoa. no, you're looking at her butt. I'm looking at her butt. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Where's her eyes? <laughs> oh, Frostina. And she has a little tiny nose. So one of our ideas over here in this part of the property is actually to make a sledding hill. 
Um, this year we don't have that much snow, but we are hoping that in the future we will get enough snow to be able to sled on our property. Okay, so check this out, because Alexa, this is cool, right? Mm -hmm. This used to be a full terrace here, but then something happened over who knows how many hundreds of years, and it washed out. So there used to be a stone wall here. So we could fix that and have more land up here, or we could turn it into a sledding hill. So my idea is that we'll have a slide actually from this terrace down to that other terrace that Brady was talking about, because how fun would that be to have a play area up here, the girls can play and then they slide all the way down into another play area. Then they have to climb up some stairs to get back up. That sounds like a really, really good use of our space and the kids' energy. They would have so much fun. So I know it's impossible to tell on the camera, so I'm gonna run down. But imagine it starts up there and then kind of weaves down here. I'll run down carefully. <laughs> All the way down here. How cool would that be? <laughs> that would be awesome. Be so fun. I want to slide now. So we're gonna have to move fast. I used rapid setting cement as my test last night. I want to finish it off, but it sets in like 10 minutes. It's crazy. So I drove around and I looked at a lot of the, uh, the fencing around here to get different ideas of what different people do. And I settled on using cement for a couple of reasons. It's a lot stronger. It protects the wood longer. But what I noticed is everyone at the top of the ground makes these cones of cement to help water run off. So we're gonna do that today, but we're gonna take it up a notch because I noticed a lot of them crack because cement needs metal in it to help stick it together and it doesn't like to stick to wood. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the point in here, I'm gonna drop it in and then flush with the ground. I'm gonna screw in some screws all around which will help bind to the cement. And then it's flush right now to the ground, but then I'm gonna pound this stake in and it'll bring it lower. And then in theory, it's gonna help that cone stay nice and solid to keep everything stiffer. Now, will this make a big difference? Yes. Will I go through the extra effort and spend the extra money on the screws for every post? Probably not. But do I feel smart for having the idea? Yes. <laughs> I love that. It looks pretty cozy up there. This stuff sets so ridiculously fast. Is that level? It looks like it. I should go get a level. Hey, that's what I made my pancakes with the other day. <laughs> this is what you made pancakes with the other day. <laughs> No more making pancakes with this. <laughs> no more using that one for pancakes. We're gonna go buy a new spatula for the kitchen. All right, so after that dries, we'll just cover it with a very thin layer of dirt just because the cement doesn't look that nice. So I've been abandoned. I think the uh, girls got a little bored with the slow progress in the fence, which is, I guess, the whole point of what we're doing here. We need to have a safe place for them to go run and play while we get work done. Because otherwise it's just me working while Heather looks after them. Because if you're not familiar with their property, it currently is simply not safe. This is probably a, a 10 meter drop off here. So we have to get the property to a safe place so that they can go off, run and play, and we can focus on work.
what a difference a day makes here in northern Italy. <laughs> Yesterday it was completely covered in snow. We were in very warm clothes, coats and snow pants and today I'm not even wearing a coat. The sun is shining, most of the snow has melted, except for the girls' little snowman that they made, and uh, we are ready to get to work. If you go to where we were burning the fence posts, mm -hmm. the little slices that we cut off and then we use that as kindling, grab two or three of those, we'll use those as pencils. Oh, fancy. Handmade pencil. So the idea is that after this week, the girls will be pretty much set up down here. We won't have to do any more fencing on the property. We will just be able to let them kind of roam around and explore this terrace all on their own. And that's just really exciting. There you go, nice. <laughs> Good work. Was that heavy? <laughs> Chloe puts her head in the bucket when I use the chainsaw. It's <laughs> not for protection. It's done. Screw. Yeah. So last week when the newbies were here, we were putting up a fence and I hit Heather with the most epic joke, which she found to be far too inappropriate to put in the video. This is a family channel. <laughs> it was pretty funny. We're not putting it in still. Uh, I will put it on Instagram. <laughs> so come join us on Instagram for an Instagram exclusive. <laughs> it looks great. Girls, mm -hmm. let's go to Seesaw. Yeah! Yay! I'm gonna bring it over and then I want you guys to decide because I want you guys to be completely in charge of this project, okay? Ooh! So I'll bring it over and then you guys decide where we put it and how we build it, okay? Okay, wait. We don't know how to build a seesaw. I'm sure Daddy will help you as you need it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yay! The reason you're in charge of this is because if it doesn't work, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you ever made a seesaw before, Daddy? The options are, and you guys decide, it goes here, like this, which might be good because on this side it's a little taller, so Chloe can mm. get it e on easier there, or it goes this way. What do you choose? This way or this way? I like that way. This way. Chloe, what do you think? This way? No, too dangerous. What if somebody falls off? There's and a they fence. Go through nope. the fence. <laughs> That's why we put up the fence, Chloe, so Not it's possible. safe. Okay, so I think this I'm is tiny. the right choice. I, I like that way. So right if here. If I wanted to, I could jump out. All right, so if I have tape measure. To. I'm tiny. Yeah. Good job, Chloe. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, and then Alexa can have the pencil. Keep it. Oh, it, oh we're tapped out. <laughs> All right, well. Too small of a tape measure. I think it's exactly four meters, but yeah. we should double check, okay? okay? 201 is our center point, okay? Good job, Alexa. Thanks. You might want to mind your heads. <laughs> it's a really big pencil. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking we'll take these and we'll pound them either side. Then we'll figure out the seesaw motion. We'll figure it out. I don't I laugh at me. This is one of those moments where I'm really just not sure that I see it coming together. Um, I see it. I love the idea, but I just don't understand how it's going to be executed. So I guess we'll see. Shh, Daddy makes crazy plans. It's close. Like that. Okay. okay, that's good. All right, close turn on the other side. Does anyone know why we put the water in? Uh -oh. Slippery! Slippery! So get in. High five! And the trophy goes to Chloe! Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is beautiful out here. I just can't believe this is ours, and this is gonna be your playground! Your Yay! Bunch, your bunch of lucky monkeys. Yeah. So I think I can get this in. Ah! This ground is really hard today. Uh, 
the wood is literally too hard to cut through. I like perfectly sharpened it and it just dulls immediately. That's so crazy. You gotta channel your inner John newbie. This is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> I think today you win the uh, best daddy in the world award. Uh -huh. Oh, you're so kind. Just make it work. Whoa, whoa. You're wibbling me. <laughs> I hadn't planned on using the concrete originally, so that's kind of messing with my plans. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm still skeptical. <laughs> what does that mean? He's not sure if it's gonna work or not. Okay. Custom seats coming up. Do you like a custom seat, Alexa? <laughs> I can sit down. I can draw an outline of your butt. <laughs> How about here? I don't know. Custom seat. Custom seat just for you. Okay, you're good. You. What shape do you want? Remember, you're in charge of the design. <laughs> um, just a square piece. Just a square? I really like it. Good. Oh, it stays. Yeah. I'd see. Is that good? Perfect. Give me Lux to try that. Whoa, what happened to your hands? <laughs> You've I'm been playing in the dirt. I've been digging. No one's been seeing my hole. So anytime we took the kids to the playground, I would watch extra close to see what they would play on the most to try to narrow down the top priorities or what they would fight on. And we're definitely not building that. The seesaw, they will literally play for hours up and down chatting playing games we're gonna get some good use out of this let's see <laughs> good job scared. daddy I'm not scared. <laughs> she's a little afraid of heights all right we probably should let the concrete dry now <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys can play more on it tomorrow okay yeah, why well, you guys give Daddy a big hug and say thank you so much, Daddy? You're welcome. I want a coffee and a nap now. Yep, <laughs> and maybe some pizza. Yeah, pizza. Well, that is a wrap for us this week. It's been a really successful week, and I am so excited that the girls have this place where they can play and just hang out and explore the property in a real way. As always, thank you so much for watching and following along, and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any episodes in the future, and we'll see you next week.